What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Demon Slayer The Entertainment Just TikTok, this time with episode 11. Very excited to get into today's episode after last week being probably my favourite episode of Demon Slayer so far. Uh, the animation was just absolutely nuts as well as the story and the cliffhanger at the end of the explosion uh, was just very awesome. I think we're going to get a few things expanded on in today's episode as well and uh, maybe set up for this uh, recently announced season 3 as well. So uh, it's going to be very high bending, especially as it's going to be an extended episode just like the first episode of the season as well. Make sure you let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with any of my reactions. And let's get right into the episode, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. Tandro with that. I don't even know what's called. Scythe through his. Uh... For his jaw screaming like that, with his fingers bent. All these guys absolutely went through it throughout this arc, didn't they? A lot of punishment. At least those guys got to see each other again, though. Going on. Hmm, apologies about that. Seen this before, so I don't think I'll rewind. He's really looking like a zombie right now, doesn't he? Oh shit, you won't let us go up. Entertainment District Arc. Final episode, man. 32 minutes. Love to see it. Such a shame about TV ads, isn't it? If there's no such thing as TV ads, it'd be even longer. No matter how many lives. Although I'm not sure how true that is, actually. And obviously, someone has to. Advertise. But yeah, I was suspecting all those guys would probably make out of there. Uh, look how small our hands look compared to what we saw uh, the night before. <laughs> but um, I saw some kind of blue flashes at the bottom of the screen just as the explosion was going off. So I got to imagine at least one of those was Zenitsu. Awesome that she's back to her normal self. Looks even smaller than usual. Jesus. There's uh there's in it too. Oh crap. Well, we haven't seen him yet, so I don't know if I trust this too much. They're moving. <laughs> oh crap. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, I did think Inosuke took most of the brutalization out of these guys, didn't he? Well, except Tengen, I think.
So your sisters did as well. Oh wow. And that's okay's as a cook and heal poisons. Didn't know that. Pretty handy. There was Tengen. Oh, that girl really took one out of Zunitsu's book, hasn't she? Yeah, we need to get... We need to get Nezuko over here, don't we? Jesus Christ. Yes, please knock her out. <laughs> Yeah, this would be one of the fucking worst ways to go out and die, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, there she is. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little weird. But... As good as usual. <laughs> what is that face? God, I really hope we don't see too much of these girls. I, mean, I don't mind them. It's just that one there is really loud, isn't she? Apologies if the subs have changed. I did change where I'm watching it just now. Oh, I see. So it kind of burns up. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty handy though, isn't it? I think these subs are a little bit easier to see on my videos as well, so I love that he's just getting lift about. <laughs> now we're gonna They can't be alive still. Nice. What the fuck is that? Oh. <laughs> Magic cat. <laughs> Not sure what that was about. Might be like the uh, the crows. We're going to eventually stumble upon those two demons, aren't we? So they are still alive. <laughs> Just as heads. <laughs> Fucking arguing. I think he would have been able to probably win if he didn't give one of his eyes to her. I don't know if they understand how fucking idiotic they look right now. Pretty amazing, they're still alive. Yeah, 
Yeah, it does. <laughs> then, uh, pretty odd situation, this, isn't it? Really, this is how you're going to go out? What's yours then? I was help trying to help you the whole time. Yeah, I'll, uh, what the hell do you do? Here in this. Pretty sad way to go out, isn't it? Fucking hell, she's almost gone. <laughs> really? <laughs> really does rely on him a lot, doesn't she? Ume. Is that her name? And looks like he's about to go as well. We are going to get that kind of full backstory now. What? <laughs> what a horrible way to name someone. <laughs> wow. Oh god. Fucking okay, hell. You know, his he had his weapon of choice from early. <clears throat> Absolutely brutal life. It was that his sister was born. Ah, still just as pretty.
debt collector. Yeah, pretty good job. That's pretty awesome. And I'm using it to his advantage. It does seem things are going really, really well, actually. That was her body? My God. Out. <laughs> She's still alive. Anyway, I couldn't even see what was in that pit. Wow. Damn. So it's like, it's like this, this village is dirty, the secret. People, all, everyone here bullying them created this monster, really. Oh shit. That skilled even when it was a human, hey? That slice. Again, I'm not really too mad. At these guys, to be honest, again, it, it kind of seems like Yoshiwara created this, kind of put it on themselves in a sad kind of way. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Well, I imagine someone did. Uh, it might not have been human. But I imagine Muzan probably arrives at some point or something. I can't see how else they turn into demons. Oh shit, maybe not. Upper six. Oh crap. This guy was the upper six before then. That's that wasn't Muzan. Who is this guy though?
It's funny, his appearance doesn't actually change that much, does it? Funny enough. Taking your sister one. Two paths. Ah, stab with his own fucking gift. Where are they? So it's not why he's walking away, is it? I think they're both near stay together. Again, it was going well for them. Yeah, I think that's, that's what he wants here, isn't it? Well, this is very surprisingly wholesome for demons, isn't it? Damn, yeah, man. That's a good brother right there. And just such a shame it turned out the way it did, but... What a fucking great backstory that was, man. I knew it would be good, just because, again, it, it's quite kind of coherent with Sandro and his sister and such, isn't it? So... That was the, kind of the big, kind of impactful moments of the fights, of course. It, without their story, it would just been kind of nonsensical fighting, but I think it made it all the better having a kind of mystery and kind of knowing that there's a little bit of 
parallels between the two fighting made it all just about more much, much more interesting oh yeah i gotta say that was a really really awesome backstory yes and we got these two and i think that might be it oh we still got five minutes oh got another uh one of the Hasherahs <laughs> yeah at this point He said he was going to retire, so hopefully he does. Nice. Deserved. Now there's two. He hates. Does he hate Tandro? I think that's who they're talking about. Why does he hate him? And you know, it's been a while since I watched the first season and the uh, and all the kind of thoughts on Tandro and his friends. Hey, this guy's happy. I don't really see that guy happy that often. For obvious reasons. But now we got rid of one. This is a big breakthrough. but sushi Michael Jackson sole blemish on my family I could more to get get to know what happened to this guy Akaza Infinity Castle. They gotta have a meeting. I did hear something about them having a meeting this episode, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be seeing it. But yeah, it ended up pretty well for everyone to be honest. Everyone survived, defeated an upper rank demon. The lowest of the upper rank demons, but an upper rank demon. And from what the uh, the leader of the demon slayer said, seems like that's a major breakthrough. Definitely a major breakthrough for these guys, considering how useless they were against Akaza. Da -da -da -da. A yeah, really awesome ending, wasn't it? Again, yeah, no kind of major flashy fight scenes or anything for the ending, but I was hoping for a really awesome backstory between um, 
the upper rank sixes and we got just that if not probably surpassed my uh, kind of expectations to be honest with you guys again the, the fights were just that much more interesting because i had those parallels going between tanjiro and Gyotaro and daki and nezuko and such and uh yeah just again it was really well done and didn't I felt if it, if it was bad, it could have took away from some of those fight scenes. But again, it was so good that it probably added even a bit more to what we already saw before. And I'm glad everyone got a kind of happy ending. Although, except for the Demon Slayer corpse. Again, from what that snake guy said, they are in a bit of a bad situation, aren't they? Losing now two Hasharas. But I'm happy for Tengen to retire. I wonder if we'll get a, uh, a Nin Nin. I think I'm going to skip through this because I think these are just credits. Almost like movie credits. But yeah, I really like these guys as villains. Again, they might be the best villains we've had yet. Probably, yeah. I, I think I, I can say that quite confidently. I think they're probably the best villains we've had yet. Most relatable, that's for sure. I don't think we are going to get a uh, nid nid or anything. The end. No, no announcement either. Um, so they must have announced it on some other kind of platform or something, or um, some other way. Uh, some usually they kind of put something at the end of the episode, like a little poster or something. But uh, none of that today. But yeah, great episode again. Nice little extended episode, which very well um, came in handy for the backstory of both Daki um, or Ame, I think, uh, Ume I think her name is I can't quite remember and Gyotaro um, again it was just such a kind of relatable story and such a well done story again it, it added even more to those fight scenes we saw before with Tanjo and Gyotaro fighting and just the kind of parallels between those two um, and again it was just such a well done backstory it made me really care for these demons with fight, kind of fighting up until this point and um, again I can pretty much say with certainty these are definitely been the best villains we've had so far um akaz has been this kind of nuisance and don't get me wrong i love his voice actor as well um and in the movie he was awesome but i think just kind of fleshing out and kind of as a personalities as well um, i think these two are definitely the best in my opinion so um yeah let me know what you guys thought about that down in the comment section if you guys agree or disagree with that um again really awesome episode and right quite a chill one to end out with a lot of happy endings this episode um although um, I think things are going to kind of intensify as this was again the weakest of the uh, of the six upper ranks. Uh, again, let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comment section though. Leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with any of my weekly reactions. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting the videos. The support has been absolutely crazy. So again, thank you guys very much, and I will definitely be back. Um, I think it's in about a year or two uh, when season three comes out. So I look forward to that one and enjoy the rest of your day, guys.